Hello everyone, if you feel that your PC has gotten slower during startup, you've probably come to the right place. Here I'm gonna explain the common causes of slow Windows startup and show you some tricks to make it faster. These tricks are especially useful for older PC or if your PC has rather low-end hardware specifications. The first likely cause is that your Windows might start too many programs automatically during startup. Or some programs that are run automatically on startup have high hardware resource consumption, such as reading a lot of files from the hard drive when they are being loaded. This issue is usually made even worse if some of those programs try to connect to the internet as part of their initializations while you are on slow internet connection or the hosts they are connecting to are busy. To see what programs are launched automatically on startup, open the task manager. To open the task manager on Windows 11, right-click the Start menu button and then click Task Manager. On Windows 10, right-click the task bar and then click Task Manager. On the Task Manager window, click the Startup tab. On the Task Manager startup page, you will see the list of all programs that are run automatically on Windows startup. And if we take a closer look at the rightmost column, we will see the severity level of the impact each program has on the startup speed. A high impact means that running that program automatically on startup might slow down the Windows startup significantly. So to speed up your Windows startup, do not run these programs automatically on startup. There are two ways to prevent these programs from being launched automatically on startup. The first and the easiest way is by right-clicking the program on the Task Manager startup page and then click Disable. This will tell Windows not to start these program automatically on startup again. Another way to disable the automatic launch is by changing the program settings through the program itself. For example, here I'm going to change my Internet Download Manager settings so that it does not run automatically on Windows startup. Many programs have a setting like this one here, where you can enable those programs to run automatically on startup. So here, I'm just going to uncheck this option and then click OK. And as you can see here, it will no longer be on the automatic startup list. You can repeat these steps on other programs that you do not want to start automatically on Windows startup. The second reason why your Windows startup is slow could be that your PC runs some unnecessary background services automatically on startup. To see what services are run automatically on startup, right-click the Start menu button and then click Computer Management. On the Computer Management, expand the Services and Application menu tree branch on the left and then click Services. On the Services list on the right, click Startup Type column title to sort the services based on their startup type. Here at the top part of the list, we can see all the services that are run automatically on startup. Look for any services that you think are not critical or even necessary. For example, here I have several ASUS services that were installed together with the device drivers. One of the services is ASUS Link Remote, which allows me to control my ASUS laptop from ASUS Zenfone. Since I don't use ASUS Zenfone, I will just disable this service for faster startup and less memory consumption. To disable a background service, right-click the service and then click Properties. On the Service Properties window, change the startup type to Disabled and then click OK. Repeat these steps for other services that you think are not useful to you. So as another example, here I'm going to disable the more common Adobe Acrobat Update service, which is not important to me as I prefer updating it manually. And then the third possible cause of slow Windows startup could be that your Windows or C drive does not have sufficient free space anymore. As a simple guide, to keep your Windows run properly, your Windows drive's free space should be at least 2 to 3 times of your RAM. So if your RAM is 4 GB, your C drive's free space should be at least 8 to 12 GB. Of course more will be better. For example, here I have 25 GB of free space on my C drive, which is slightly more than 3 times of my RAM of 8 GB. Another possible cause of slow startup that is related to hard drive is that, your hard drive may have started to have some bad blocks, which affect the loading of some Windows system files during startup. So the best, long-term solution for this problem is of course replacing your hard drive with a new one. And the last possible reason why your PC starts up slowly could be that your PC is being infected by a virus or malware that runs itself automatically on startup. This kind of virus usually will not be visible on the task manager or the computer management. So to remove a virus or malware from your PC, you should scan your PC using either Windows Defender or a third-party antivirus software. 
To scan your PC using Windows Defender, type in Virus and Threat Protection on the Windows search box, and then press Enter. On the Virus and Threat Protection, you can click Quick Scan for a start. Alright, so that's all the tips and tricks on making your Windows starts up faster. I hope you find this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching.